Hey everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way, I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look at our March morning basket. For the month of March, we cannot wait to dive into women in science. March is Women's History Month, and last year for March, we did a Girl Power Women in History morning basket, which was a blast. I will link it for you guys in the eye in the sky in case you are looking for some extra women history resources. That will be a great place for you to start. But I have a seven-year-old who wants to either be a doctor, a veterinarian, or an astronaut when she grows up. Since all three of those jobs are in the science field, I thought what better way to celebrate women history than to show her all of the women who paved the way for her. So this month, we're going to dive very deep into women in science and science in general so that she can see more scientific topics and other things within that field. This Women in Science book is the book that we will be using for our main read aloud. And I am going to try my best to show you guys again this month my kind of plan for the order we will be doing things. If you are interested, like I did last month, in seeing a Morning Basket video um, live, if you'd like to join us for Morning Basket, please either like this video or leave a comment down below and let me know. That is something I'm considering starting every month. So that after you guys see our morning basket, you can kind of see it in action. So let me know if that's something you all are interested in. So with that being said, I'm going to back up and show you what my plan is. We always start our day with our devotion, which we are continuing through How Great Is Our God? 100 Indescribable Devotions About God and Science. In case you've never seen inside these books, I love showing you guys inside. It is a very simple. You can see here it is short and sweet. You have a Bible verse, your devotion, a short prayer, and then a little scientific factoid, which are our favorites. We then will jump right in to our trivia because we have been loving this. We are still working our way through National Kids Geographic um, Quiz Whiz, a thousand super fun, mind-bending, totally awesome trivia questions. I actually just looked this up because we're almost done and it looks like there are six more of these in the set. So we'll be ordering them soon. We do a spread a day. So that's anywhere between 12 and 15, I'm sorry, 10 and 15 questions. And there are tons of different topics in here and we have both learned a lot. I love being able to have um, kind of all the different topics from history to science to math and just all kind of interesting things during our morning basket time. Next up, we will do Mad Libs because that is Emily's favorite and I thought, what fun. We will add Mad Scientist to the basket. So we will be going through some different scientific topics with our Mad Libs. Some that are just funny and some that have a little bit more of a um, actual scientific background. When we are done with that, that is when we'll be reading from Women in Science. My goal is to read two of these a day since there's 50. That way we could get through the book in the month. But if we don't make it through the whole book, that is okay. They are short though. They have a beautiful picture and then a one, let me scoot this all the way. And then a one page little synopsis of the person. So I don't think we will have a problem getting through it in the month. But again, like I said, if not, we will at least have covered a ton of really amazing women. After that, we will be working through our read alouds. I have three of the Who Was Who Is books here. We will also be doing the unit studies that I have created to go along with each of these. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because there will also be a giveaway. So we have Who Was Rachel Carson? Who Was Marie Curie? And for the third time, because this is Emily's absolute favorite, Who Is Jane Goodall? We will also be working our way through a stack of picture books just like we did last month. I will be letting Emily pick which books she would like to read each day from the basket. These are just a few of the ones I've picked up. We have You Should Meet Katherine Johnson, You Should Meet Mae Jemison, You Should Meet the Women Who Launched the Computer Age, Secret Engineer, The Girl Who Thought in Pictures again, The Girl with a Mind for Math, The Astronaut with a Song for the Stars, The Doctor with an Eye for Eyes, Evelyn the Entomologist, The Adventurous Entomologist, Nothing Stopped Sophie, Rachel Carson and Her Book That Changed the World, Out of School and Into Nature, Stone Girl, Bone Girl, and Joan Proctor, Dragon Doctor, The Woman Who Loved Reptiles. 
I also am going to be doing some of the different things in the Scientist Academy with her. I love that this is going to expose her to different types of science, such as laboratory science, investigative science, space science, earth science, life science, and then science files. They're short little activities. They're no more than two pages, so like front and back. Some are actual activities. Some are just us, you know, doing it as an activity in the book. But I thought it would be a really fun way to expose her to the different kinds of scientists. And I know that she's going to want to be a scientist after learning about all these women anyway. So it's a great way to do both of those things. And then while we are kind of already at the table, we will go ahead and do our big life journal. I love that it has the growth mindset. It has all these really, really great um, stories and quotes. And it is a really, really, we've been going through it very slow so that we can digest each thing, but it is really, really helping her with a growth mindset. So I love that about this. For the hands-on activities that she will be able to do while I am reading aloud, we have the Women in Science Puzzle. This is 500 pieces, so I do expect that it is something that um, will probably be on our coffee table for a few days as she completes it. But I love that this matched the book that was going to be the basis for our month, so I had to have it. This coloring book is the Historical Heroines Coloring Book, Pioneering Women in Science from the 18th and 19th century. We also will have all of the coloring pictures or pages from the Who Was units as well. So this is just very simple. It has a synopsis of the woman and then a coloring page on the side. And then I also grabbed the Science STEM sticker adventure for her. Actually, we already own this. I had planned to strew it, but I thought, oh, this will be perfect this month. So it's just kind of a very simple girls in science sticker book. There is different scenes that correlate to different types of science. And then there are stickers that go with it. So you have the chemistry and the geology marine biology, astronomy, but what is really cool is at the top of each of the pages, it tells you about it. So like here, it's gonna tell you about botany. So you're, again, learning about the different kinds of studies within the science. And then normally one of the last things we do is play games. This month we have Brain Box Science and Nature. I love adding these to our morning baskets because it works with memory work, brain training, and you're also learning about whatever the box is. So this would be science. So you get 10 seconds, the length of your timer right here, to study the front of this card. So you just kind of read it, study it, try to remember as much as you can. Then you're gonna roll a dice and you have to answer the question on the back that correlates to the number that you roll. So what is a maple seed called? Well, if you don't remember it, then you're not gonna get it, but you can always look back up here just to see afterwards. They're called helicopters. So it's a really, really fun way to play a quick game and to be able to try to work on, like I said, memory, brain training, and learn science and nature all at the same time. And they're absolutely beautiful cards. So this is one of our favorites for morning basket time, as well as Professor Noggin. You guys probably already know that, but we will be doing the Professor Noggin Wonders of Science. So in case you don't know a lot about Professor Noggin, you have a set of easy and a set of hard questions on every card. We normally try to play the first half of the month with easy and then upgrade to hard by the second half of the month. You roll a dice, one through three, and then you try to answer that question. If you answer it correctly, you get to keep the card. Incorrectly, you don't get to keep it. The player with the most cards at the end wins. The very, very last thing I have are these Science Project Activity Jar. I picked this up about a month ago from the Target Dollar Spot. At the time, having no idea what I was gonna do with it, I'm still not 100% sure. I may use these along with the um, things that you need for strewing for the month, but I thought if I put them in my morning basket, at the very end of morning basket, it would at least kind of give me a little kick in the dairy air to do some science projects because I feel like I have been a little lax on that this year. These are mostly very, very simple, so it's not anything too time consuming. Most of the things we already have on hand in the house. So probably just let her pick one of these at the end of morning basket each day. 
and make sure we're trying to get a little science project in because again I know my child and I know that when learning about all of these scientists and different types of science she is going to want to do science projects so at least this way gives me a really easy way that I already have on hand to get some of those done and now for the giveaway one lucky winner will win not one but two of my who was unit studies all you have to do is go click that link in the description box down below. It'll tell you everything you need to know for the giveaway details. And then you can go to the shop and go ahead and start looking at all of the different titles and which ones you want to add to your homeschool.